So after you've created your gradebook, now it is time for you to add assignments. I'm going to add a few assignments really quick. It's assignment 1, assignment 2, assignment 3. Next, what you want to do is then put the grades in for your students. I'm not going to go through that individually. I'm going to use quick the add grades using the fill Then I'm going to submit my grades. Next thing you want to do is add a calculation for what your final grade will be for the quarter. I call this Q1. Choose a start date when the quarter started. So for you, that'll be August 1st. What this does is it allows you to exclude some assignments. Say, for instance, school started, but you didn't want to start counting assignments until maybe the second or the third week of school. You could use the state to restrict assignments that are included. And this chooses your end date. Yes. Here you want to choose the posting detail where you want these to post. I'm choosing the business class and Q1. We're going to hit submit. All right, now my grades are in. There's no new marks to submit. My next step <clears throat> is this is how you send your grades to the office so that we can then print your report cards. So go over utility, grade book, post grades. You want to choose classes marks. This is for the way we use gradebook. Make sure you have classes marks chosen. Then you want to choose the assignments or the grade books that you want to submit. As a teacher, you're probably going to do grammar, language, and learning, or listening and learning, math, skills, and writing. For this test purposes, I'm just doing this one grade book. Hit submit. You can't do more than one at a time. These are what will show up on the student's report card, Q1 grade, then hit submit. And there it is. Your grades are posted. The office should then have them. And you should be able to submit your report card. You're done. Thank you for taking the time to listen to and watch the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or leave a comment in the YouTube comment section. Enjoy your day. Oh, and don't forget, you want to log out. Don't just close the tab. When you log out, it backs up the work that you've done. That way you don't have to email us saying you've lost your work. Good night.